Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2018. I hope that you guys are as excited for this year as I am. I have a really good feeling about it and I think we're just gonna have so much fun. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys um, how I set goals and achieve them and it is the new year, new slate and a fresh start. So this is like the best time of the year to really just get intentional and set some goals and really just get excited about them. So I obviously work for myself and I have, you know, built up this brand. So I have had my fair share of setting goals and, you know, having the um, drive to keep myself accountable in order to attain those goals. So I wanted to share with you guys the things that I have done and learned um, that have really helped me along the way and hopefully this can inspire and motivate you. Okay, you guys, the most important thing, and hear me when I say this, the most important thing when it comes to setting and achieving your goals, no matter what you are trying to achieve, is you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your ability to accomplish these goals. You have to believe in your worthiness <laughs> to reach and achieve those goals. You have to believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, everything else I'm about to tell you literally doesn't matter. You have to believe in yourself. No matter what you are trying to accomplish in 2018, you have got to get out of your own way. There are so many excuses and fears that you know we harbor in our hearts and in our minds, and they can really derail us and hold us back from reaching our full potential, um, especially, and also just reaching those small goals that we have set. Whatever is holding you back, whatever obstacles you stumble upon, you're going to come across obstacles. I can tell you that right now. It's never going to be a perfect journey or smooth sailing, but whatever is holding you back, whatever those obstacles are, find a way around it. You have to be a problem solver. You have to learn to ride the waves. You have to learn to just figure it out. And if you really want it, make it happen. Attitude is absolutely everything and just having that positive confident mindset to do whatever you have to do in order to reach your goals is so paramount and if you feel like you are someone who struggles with having that confidence and that bravery to go after whatever it is that you want or put yourself out there which trust me I know can be very scary <laughs> I've been there I'm still there it's still scary sometimes but if you feel like you have a hard time you know getting that confidence to just go after what you want take that leap I want to rec recommend a book to you guys and that is You Are a Badass. It's by Jen Sincero. So many people have read this book. It is such an awesome book. I actually read this um, like right before I quit my nine to five jobs. This definitely, I mean, I was already thinking about doing it to pursue, you know, YouTube and social media and all of that full time and to be able to be an entrepreneur and work for myself. Um, but this was definitely the fuel to my fire. It's what really just gave me that kick in the ass to be like, I'm just going to go for it. And you know, no matter what happens, if I stay positive, it's going to work out and it's going to be okay. So this book is amazing. I highly recommend it. It really will help you not only just get the confidence, but just like love yourself in order to know um, or learn that, that you are worthy of whatever it is that you want to do. And if you want it, you can achieve it. So that is an awesome book. Highly recommend it. Okay. Now when it comes to actually setting your goals, write them down. Let me say that again, write them down. This is so, so important. And when you are setting your goals, be extremely specific. I'm talking details, as many details as you can get out on paper, do it. Dates, um, times, whatever, just be very, very specific. Tell the universe exactly what you want so that when you are consistently working towards those goals and showing the universe that you're committed and that you want this, it will know exactly what to give you. But Here's the thing, if you just write them down and then throw that notebook or whatever in a drawer somewhere and never see it again, guess what? You're probably not gonna reach those goals, spoiler alert. But if you put them somewhere where you're going to see them every single day and be constantly reminded of those goals and what you want, you are just going to be so much more committed because you're constantly reminded of what you want and it's just going to inspire you to constantly work towards it. So whether that is writing them on post-it notes and putting them on your mirror or putting them all you know, written down on your lock screen on your phone or writing them on a whiteboard on the wall or running to Michael's and grabbing some supplies to make a vision board, whatever it is, just be intentional about it, make it a thing, have it be something that you're going to see every single day. This is so important. But I want you guys to remember while writing them down and seeing them every day is so important, believing in yourself is so much more important and you can write down goals and 
put them all over your mirror or your office all day long, if you don't believe that you can achieve those goals, you're never ever gonna get there. And then another tip that I have picked up along the way on this entrepreneurial <laughs> journey is to think long term. This is also so important. When you are, you know, setting goals, say you want to start a blog or you want to start a YouTube channel or you want to come out with um, a certain product or, you know, whatever it is that you want to do, it is so important that you always think long term. So let's just say you want to start a blog. Don't worry about where your blog is going to be in a month or even what it's going to be in this summer. Think about what your blog is going to be in five to 10 years. Yes, that long term. And the reason I say this is because it allows you to make much better um, business decisions when you think of what your brand is going to be in the long term, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to build. When you think about it long term, you're going to make better decisions. You're not going to make silly decisions that might compromise it just because you want a, a short term gain. It is so, so important to think about the big picture and the long term, what you really want this to be. And it will just keep you um, really focused on what your mission is and will keep you from straying far from that. And also when you are always thinking long term and thinking far into the future when it comes to your ideas and your goals, it's going to help you kind of ride the waves a little more because we all know that things can get difficult um, when it comes to business or personal life or whatever. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be things that are difficult. And if we are just focused on the short term, we might give up, you know, because Sometimes things are hard and we want to give up. But when you think of your long-term vision and you focus on that instead of just what's happening right now, like if it's not a good month or you've got this new problem that you can't figure out, if you're thinking about it in the long term, you know that it's just kind of like a little blip in time versus this nightmare that's happening right now and it's all you see, if that makes sense. Another thing that I would highly, highly recommend, so important, I know I'm saying all oh, these are important, but that is because they are, and that is to write down your why. Be as just, just as intentional with your why as you are with writing down those goals and you know having them in a place where you can see them often. And what I say, you, when, I, when I'm saying your why, what I mean is whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to achieve this year and or five years from now, 10 years from now, whatever that is, why are you doing it? You know, we have, you know, the reasons in our head, we know why we're doing it. But when you actually take the time to sit down and just write out all of the reasons why you are doing this, why are you, why are you taking the time to put towards whatever goal you're trying to achieve? It is so important because there are going to be days that you are challenged and you are tired and you don't want to work towards that goal or you don't care about that goal that day. It just doesn't seem like a priority. Or maybe you want to go as far as to completely give up on the goal altogether Having that why is what's going to fuel you. It's what's going to keep you going because there's a reason that we want to achieve all these goals, right? And it's not just to check it off a list, although that is very cathartic. You have to know what your why is and you have to be able to access it because being able to just glance at it alone will light a fire under your ass and you will just feel so much more motivated and it will put everything into perspective and it will make all the little things that seem so challenging, it will make them feel silly in comparison to all the reasons why you're, you're doing this. So definitely write down that why, really take some time and you know think about why you really wanna do this, all the reasons, why would your life change? Why would this be so great for you? What What is it that's driving you to reach that goal? Really think about it and write it all down and I promise you, it is going to get you motivated. Okay, and my very last tip is to be organized. This is so important, especially if you are trying to build up a brand or work for yourself. Um, it is just so, so incredibly important that you stay organized because a lot of times you don't have a lot of time when you're starting this up. I had my YouTube channel while I was working um, you know, full time for two years. Um, and then I also did it before that in college as well before I took the plunge and did this full time. So this was a very um, side gig. You know, I was doing it on weekends and weeknights whenever I had spare time. So it was really important for me to be intentional, intentional about when I was going to do things and stay very, very organized because that would keep me accountable. Because if I just said, oh, I'll just, you know, get this done at some point in the week, when your time is really, you know, uh, squeezed thin and there's not a lot of that to go around, you're probably just going to say, oh, I'll do that next week. But if you have it written down, this is when I'm going to do this, when that time arrives, it's just time to do that. You know, it's not, it takes the decision making out of it and it makes you just so much more accountable. So definitely invest in a planner if you don't already have one. I actually just got one for the new year. I am so excited about it. So I got, I will show you guys. This is the, here's the front. 
This is the Start Planner and I am obsessed. I'm so excited to use this. I did so much research this like the past couple months on like the best planner for this upcoming year, 2018. And I actually asked you guys on Instagram um, and you gave me so many good ideas. I will actually link that Instagram post down below because there are so many comments and amazing suggestions for all different planners. So if you are looking for one, if you haven't gotten one yet for 2018, go to that post. Seriously, there's so many good ideas. Um, but I ended up going with this start planner and I'm so ex excited to be using it. This is not sponsored by the way, I bought this with my own moolah, but it literally, I think I'm gonna do a blog post to do like a full review on it and show you guys how I'm using it because there's a lot and I don't wanna like talk your ear off about it now, although I'm sure a lot of you are probably interested and would want me to talk your ear off about it right now. But it is just an amazing goal setting planner. I mean, obviously it has your normal like weekday layouts. It's like by time and there's plenty of space for to-do lists and priori uh, priorities and water intake and it's just amazing and there's even, like so much stuff for goal setting and then like stuff to all the things you want to do in your house on a seasonal yearly basis to keep it you know clean and up and running and there's grocery lists and just all kinds of resources in here i absolutely love this planner if you haven't gotten one yet i would check it out having a planner will keep you on track it will keep you very intentional about your time and how you plan to use it and also it will just help to keep you focused because when you see things laid out not only just your week to week um, you know tasks and chores and work and all of that but also when your goals are all written down and you know they're just all there in one place for you to see them where you can actually grab this every single day and look at it it helps so much to just keep you motivated and on task and remind you why you are doing this all right guys, I hope that you are motivated and inspired and excited. I know that I am. It is time to get those blinders on and get working on our goals. Do not worry about what anyone else is doing. Don't compare yourself to others. It is literally a waste of time and it's only going to derail you from your goals. So blinders on, focus on your, you know, your goals and what you're trying to achieve. Stay in your lane and you have so got this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below. Let me know what is your overarching goal of 2018. What is the one thing that you absolutely want to achieve? I would love to hear about it. And of course you can subscribe if you are enjoying my videos. I would love for you to do that. And also you can follow me on Instagram so we can hang out on there. I'm on there pretty much all the time. Would love to hang out with you on there as well. But thank you so much for hanging out in today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. You should see the things we do, baby.